Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In our previous tutorial, we have created this uh, application in which we click on this button and it retrieves data from database and show it in this grid, grid view. Today, we will learn about data set and data table in C Sharp. So if I click on this button, it retrieves this data and show it in this grid view. So today I will uh, 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 we will learn about data set and uh, uh, data table. So for that I will come here to this design and to this uh, I will double click on this button and I will um, comment all this code. So as this code is commented, so I'll go to design again and now I'll double, double click on this form. So to create this uh, form load event. So now it is created. Now how can we define a data set in uh, C sharp? So we can define data set as data set data set or data equals new data set now we have to assign a name to this uh, data set so data dot uh, data set name equal and you can assign it any name uh, you want so I'll use office as its, its name now Mm, the other method of assigning it a name is uh, to remove this and inside this constructor provide it a name so office now we will define a data table so data table um, table equals new data table and similarly it takes a name as well so I'll name this uh, employee so so a data set is like a database um, that we make in uh, that we have in uh, SQL server or MySQL so data set uh, it can contain uh, one or more table similarly a data table is like a database table so it can contain uh, rows and columns so now we will add some uh, um, uh, columns into this uh, data table So as data table takes column so I can add it by table dot columns dot add and now, now I can give uh, a column name so I'll name this ID or ID semicolon similarly I can add in another columns dot columns dot add and here I can add a uh, name and uh, table dot column dot add and now I can add in uh, designation semicolon now similarly I can uh, provide the a type of this uh, column so if I here provide type of and now if I provide int here now it will take this ID will take an int value now if I add some rows into it so for that I will use table dot rows dot add 
and here I will add in the value so um, for uh, um, for id I will add is d and then for name I will add in uh, John and for designation I will use as uh, uh, manager and now if I put semicolon and if I run this that will show this will show me an error as you can see it is a uh, showing an, us an error because this id column is end so if i stop this and uh, if i close this and i make if i make this one and now if i run this now it will not show any, any error and it will run successfully now you can see it is running now how can I, we add this into our uh, data uh, grid view let me add another uh, record so table dot rows dot add and here I will add two comma gems comma and here he is a senior developer and now if I put semicolon here now first we will add this uh, data table into our data set now here I will add data dot tables dot add and here I will pass in this table name so now table is added so now we will assign this table to our grid view so if i click on this and click on this grid view and go to its properties now the name of this data uh, grid view is data grid view one so if i come to code again so i'll use data grid view one dot data source equals now data uh, which is our data set dot tables and as we have only one table inside this data set so we will use zero semicolon and now if I run this now you can see that the data is shown in the grid view now another way to add this into this is to use its uh, name so here if I use uh, this employee because our data table name is uh, employee so employee and now if I run this so now you can see we can use it in this way as well so today we have learned about uh, this data set and data table data set is like a database and data table is like a database table so i think that's all for today i hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you